we're trying to measure up and make a sail bag for the staysail so that we can keep the sail hanked on ready to deploy and still have a way to gather it up uh, and put it away when we dump it. So we got the sail kind of flaked out and hanked on. Uh, came up with this idea of just kind of wrapping a bed sheet around it. Trying to conceptualize what Jenny and I have been arguing about this morning. So something that's going to have buckles on the front to go around the forestay. And something that's easy to gather up on top. And then once you get the once you get the sail in, flaked, and then it's folded twice, so it's in three sections. And then have a way to leave a sheet, the self-tacking sheet in place, and also be able to swing it over and tie and secure it off to a one of the lifelines. So I've seen some examples of bags online, and some of them are pretty good, and some of them are pretty lousy, and we're just trying to come up with ideas and figure out what we want as far as putting this thing together. So, so I wanted to give an update on the sail bag that we're making. Um, I'm at our apartment here in Sacramento, and I got this big wide open space to work in. I drew this pattern. It's pretty much a mess. I kind of took it part of it from the sale right video where they made their staysail bag. Theirs is going to be a lot different than ours because there's just some things on there that we didn't want to do that we want to do on ours. Um, and you know, I'm not really sure if I'm doing everything right, but we'll see how it turns out. So I've got this piece of uh, this is cadet gray. This is the color of our the sacrificial piece on the jib and the mainsail bag is this color. So I've got this pretty big piece that I'm going to use. I've also got a bunch of little goodies here. So this right here is Pfeiffer Tex. I'm hoping that it's going to be work for the drain. Kind of a, a We're going to do a mesh on the bottom about six inches so that if there's any water inside, it will drain out. Um, and then inside here, you can't see it, but there's um, <clears throat> some other fabric. It's called Shelter Right, and it's for chafe protection. And then I've got some Dacron tapes. Uh, they're not adhesive, they're just Dacron. Um, that's a Shelter Right strip zipper. Some uh, webbing, which we're going to use on the inside of the bag. <clears throat> and then I've got uh, another strip of webbing that's going to be for a D ring at the back so that we can hang it. I've got an idea of what we want it to be. Let's just hope, hopefully I can execute it. However, we wanted to hire somebody to make this for us and couldn't find anybody to do it. So Rich came up with some designs that he, or ideas, I guess, that he wanted. How it works is, first thing we did, I did was I sewed, sewed the, um, this is like, it's called Pfeiffer Tex and it's, um, breathable and it's supposedly water will will go through it so kind of a, as a drain on the bottom and it doesn't go all the way to the back it goes that, that far yeah you can actually hold it up to the light you can see through it okay um so the other thing we did was we put these we wanted some sail ties that were kind of built in here so that we could just grab the sail and and get it under control so I put these Dacron patches in. The canvas book I has, had says you want two inches on each side for a patch. So this is two inches, this is five, and this is six. So that gives me two inches all the way around. On each one, we have two in the front and two in the back. We got those. Uh, we did a D-ring on some webbing to attach the back so it can be up off the deck. And then for the zipper, we did kind of like a parka style zipper and then I made the stop at the back because I had to cut it so that's the stop at the back. All right so this is the final test fit for the staysail bag so we still have to put the common sense fasteners in so this will come together like this and then we'll have they'll sit together so that they will match like that a little bit. 
inside we just have an opening. This is Dacron, so it won't chafe. Down here we have shelter right, which is this material and this material. And there's a piece down here so that it won't chafe this. Um, I sewed it so that maybe we could cut a gap if we needed to, but I don't think we need to. So we're just going to leave that solid. We've got Pfeiffer Tex venting underneath so that it will drain and breathe so it doesn't get moldy. We have our number 10 zipper. And then this is Dacron here so that it won't shave. And then inside we've got our sail ties to hold it, to hold it together. And then on the back I did, this is a piece of webbing with a loop, a key ring. So that's what it looks like on the back. We're going to put the common sense fasteners on and then we'll be done. So now I'm installing the, uh, these quarter turn fasteners, these common sense ones. There's a grommet and a backing plate that go into the canvas. And then this piece gets riveted to this side. Now I just got to cut the holes. I got these two installed. I'm going to install the third one here and I'm using a special tool that punches out the hole which is the oval hole for the backing plate and the front side grommet. Just gonna mark it out and punch it through. I'm using a dead blow hammer. It's not great on the floorboards because the floorboards tend to resonate a little bit. So if it's not a solid surface, it would be better if I was like on a concrete floor or something like that. So starting to cut through, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up with a knife. So now you can see the oval. Now I'm through the black material and now I'm down into the, uh, the canvas. So I'll go ahead and punch it again. And that cuts through sort of. These things are a lot of work. So there you go. That's the hole. So then what you do now, you got this piece and it's got four little prongs on it. And those four prongs correspond with the holes on the, uh, on the tool, the cutting die. So what you end up with is this on one side. When you flip it over, you got the four prongs sticking through. This backing plate goes through on this side here. Then you just tap them over. And I like to take a punch and set them. And there you go. Those are the three grommets. And now I got to rivet this piece in place. And this is the actual fastener. That's this deal. Just kind of line it up. I kind of know where it needs to go. Easy thing to do is just take the fastener, put it on. Just give it, a, give it a couple of smacks with a hammer. It leaves a little imprint. And then you can just kind of trace around it with a pencil. So now that I got this, uh, these ones marked out. Put the rubber cutting pad in here. And for these, these things use two small rivets. And they've got round buttons on the backside. And also... There is a setting tool and a die. This one has two holes in it. So this is a little eighth inch hole cutter. It's from Sailrite. But you'll just line it up. Punch through the fabric. And we're all the way through. Feed these grommets up. Those will get peened over on top of this. That's where this die comes in handy. It's got two recesses. They fit directly into the buttons on the backside. <clears throat> then you just use your punch setting tool and it keeps everything lined up. And there you go. There's your quarter turn fastener installed. Yeah.
kind of, I th that fish better than I thought it was going to, actually. Yeah, I saw it when it was, when it looked, like when you pulled it out and added this flap, it looked really, I'm like, okay, that'll work. And it's a lot of sail to stuff in that bag, but it fit, I like it, it's compact. 